So guys, I'm back on Twitter, but I'm not under the name of Irish Rose. I have nothing to do with that name on Twitter because the second I change my name to that, I get an instant ban. So I think I've pissed a few people off. Just a hunch. Don't know for sure. Just have a feeling, you know? So one thing that I've noticed being back on Twitter, um, a load of er quotes are guys, people who are red pilled, well, self proclaimed red pilled, um, are all over, oh, I support Ukraine, you know, and having the Ukraine flag beside their name. Um, I can't believe that you came through the drama that was a worldwide bug for two years. We've all seen that it's a complete and utter farce. And you still believe the media after that. This is insanity, right? Um, I was scrolling through Twitter and came across this um, article saying uh, Germany labels journalist criminal and seizes her bank accounts for reporting from Ukraine. Hmm, where do we see where people lose their bank accounts before? Oh yes, Mark Collette and Laura Tyler, um, who report on the conspiracy theory of a uh, white replacement. Even though if you go into any city, any town, and you open your eyes, it's there in front of you. But it's a conspiracy theory. The same way as Hunter Biden's laptop was a conspiracy and nobody was allowed to report on it before the USA elections. So anyway, this poor lassie who was going around interviewing ordinary Ukrainians, asking questions and then putting her findings that were unbiased up on her uh, Telegram channel has had her bank account seized. Um, she's had her PayPal seized. So basically, right, the government now are trying to scare her and say, this is the power that we have. And if you don't play ball, what we're going to do is we're going to shut you down. But... This just is is not going to stop, okay? Like, it's obvious if you don't have the mainstream narrative and you are not singing from their hymn sheet, they don't like you. They're going to shut you down. They're going to make you look like you're crazy. Um, I've had it myself. I posted a video back uh, maybe a month or six weeks ago of uh, Zelensky in front of a green uh, screen. And people in my comment section say, oh, you've lost the plot. Now, all I did was prove that he was in front of a green screen. I didn't say anything else. But, you know, he's like the second coming of Jesus Christ to some people. You cannot criticize Zelensky, you know. But like if you dig into his background, who is he? Where does he come from? How did he get the money to run from for president? You know, none of it makes any sense. And he has like the ultimate backing of every government in the world. And he's demanding uh, that countries do more. Like, who is this guy? You know, um, like in Ireland, um, they can't even like take care of the Irish people. There's so much poverty in Ireland. Pa Irish people sleeping on the streets. Irish children going hungry and eating uh, what little food they have uh, off a box. On, on the road. You know, like, I'm of the firm belief you look after your own first and then if you can look after other people in their own homeland. But then you have the bleeding hearts who say, oh, you don't know what it's like for the poor people fleeing war. Excuse me. I'm from Northern Ireland. I grew up in the Troubles. I would tell you things that I have seen happen and I have heard happen that would make the hair on the back of your neck stand and you're trying to talk to me about war? You what? Unless you were involved some way uh, with the paramilitaries, you had absolutely no reason to leave your homeland and you wouldn't have done it because um, any true Irish nationalist that I know Love Ireland and never want to leave it. Um, so that's just an absolute farce straight away. So wake up and smell the coffee. Um, I'm not here to tell you what to do or what to think. All I'm asking you to do is keep the media with an open mind. Um, try and look other places for your media. 
Um, I would never trust the news that I hear on the TV or in a newspaper. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I search things not through Google. I use Yandex and I also use DuckDuckGo. Um, but I'm sure I'll probably get like a lot of people now saying, oh, do you not use blah, 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 blah. Listen, <laughs> I'm on Telegram. Um, I don't know how many groups I'm on Telegram. So I'm on loads of groups that are talking about the worldwide bug from two years ago, which has now pretty much been proven to be what we all thought it was from the start. Um, but we still have a few normies out there that are still walking about with masks on and they're scared of their lives. Um, that happened a few weeks ago when I was at the Iron Maiden concert. We're all out in the open air and then next thing, you know, these people come walking by with masks and I was just holding my head going, I feel so bad for those people. You know, they should be literally at home. Um, if they're that afraid, they should be at home. Because I felt like going over to them and say, listen, you do not need to be afraid. Um, it's it's just nonsense, you know. But this is where we are at. So, hey ho. Uh, but I just feel really bad for that um, girl who got her, her bank account seized. Because as far as I'm concerned, before I even research it it has all the hallmarks of um a hatchet job they just want to destroy her life and they just want to try and uh, intimidate her into not telling the truth or reporting on things that they don't want her reporting on um it just blows my mind that people can't figure this out it's happened so many of our guys and you know, we still have the agents who are still listening to the media. Wake up, smell the coffee and wise up. Anyway, take care of yourselves. All the best.